France welcomed newly promoted Belgium to Albeville with the hopes of emulating their male counterpart success of last year. With Caroline Garcia declaring herself unavailable, Yannick Noah pinned all hopes on Christine Mladenovic and Pauline Parmentier. In contrast, Dominique Monami had a strong squad to call on, including Fed Cup stalwart Kirsten Flipkins playing in her 15th consecutive season in the competition. The meeting between the two top players, Mladenovic and Mertens on day two, likely to be the key match in the tie. It isn't often that France kicks off a Fed Cup tie at home expecting to lose the opening rubber, but that was a distinct possibility as Parmentier took to the court against Elise Mertens. The Belgium number one had been in imperious form and made the perfect start, a break in the opening game enough for the first set. Parmentier battled hard in the second, but Mertens was equal to every attack. The world number 20 never looked like losing, wrapping up a comprehensive victory to give her side the lead in the tie. Christina Mladenovic had been struggling for form until a week ago. A run of 15 consecutive defeats ended by reaching the final of the St. Petersburg Open. Up against Kirsten Flipkins, she continued that resurgence, dominating away to a one-set advantage. Before confidently serving out to leave things all square after day one. Day two brought the much-anticipated meeting of the top two players, Mertens and Mladenovic. The pair is separated by just seven places in the rankings, but it took until the ninth game for Mladenovic to make the breakthrough. Mertens had won all five of her Fed Cup matches to date, but the Australian Open semi-finalist was hanging on in the second set. Having spurned three match points, Mladenovic then served out for an impressive win. Determined to make amends for her first day loss, Pauline Parmentier took to the court knowing victory over Alison van Utenvank would put France through to the semi-finals for the third time in four years. Much like the previous day though, a nightmare start for Parmentier saw her broken in the opening game. Van Utvank, a late replacement for Kirsten Flipkins, had won nine of her ten Fed Cup singles rubbers and would soon have a one-set lead. The French woman was well below her best and couldn't find a way to stop the Belgian closing out the match. A deciding rubber would settle this tie. Unsurprisingly, both teams made changes to their doubles lineup, with Amandine Hess joining Australian Open doubles champion Christine Mladenovic, while Mertens and Flipkins were given the nod for Belgium, and it was the home duo who got the early break. Before going on to serve out the set. Belgium took the second 6-2, but crumbled in the decider. Mladenovic undeniably the heroine as France go through to the semi-finals and will host defending champions the USA.